Galatea is, a, is a EEC funded project uh, and I would say fully in line with the discussion that we had previously regarding clusters uh, dedicated to support innovation and providing uh, grants and services for, for SMEs supporting innovation in four key sectors. Um, it was led by Paul Mer uh, Mediterranée, which is a cluster dedicated for innovation and competitivity, so it's all the more interesting. And Paul Mer is also a part of a French national hub for the system mechanism. So doing so, uh, we will try to, to use as much as possible the solutions in order to, to engage our stakeholders, French stakeholders and others in cooperation supporting WestMed and or and beyond. Uh, you will see that the solution and, the, and what has been done has also been replicated and already promoted in the other sea basins based on the, on the stakeholders that we have. So now I just give the, the, the movie and leave it the floor to Clément. Paul Méditerranée, on behalf of Galatea team, is proud and delighted to receive this prize, which is a symbol of great results achieved these last three years. Galatea project aimed to develop new industrial value chains by the integration of ICT and aerospatial technologies into four key blue growth domains smart port, smart ship, smart shipyard and maritime surveillance. These developments were possible thanks to the implementation of a global innovation support that has been developed through the collection of needs from end users, thanks to the, the launch of two open call for projects and one call for services, and by the, the organization of ideation and matchmaking sessions. Those activities leading to the direct financial support of 23 innovative projects, representing 42 SMEs and 2.2 million euros, as well as the support of 30 SMEs with a provision of 49 coaching services. These results were possible thanks to a partnership made of seven clusters active in the maritime, the ICT and the aerospatial sectors, as well as one digital research and technology organization. These partners are located in five EU countries, France, Spain, Greece, Romania and Poland. Different projects propose concrete solutions to the challenges addressed by port authorities and maritime transport key players for a greener maritime industry. Smart Chip Project PyCharge is a project led by PyBS Technology Notilo Class and FEAC Engineering. Today, AUV's missions are limited in range and duration due to their battery's power capacity. PyCharge aims to develop an autonomous AUV recharging station powered by marine currents, able to be placed underwater and remain fully autonomous. A reduced scale model test demonstrated the feasibility and performance of the project. Smart Shipyard Project The CompoDeep project led by CES Works and Compoxy. CompoDeep aims to pre-design of a kit of standardized structural elements in composite materials, allowing deep water vehicles and equipment's infrastructures to be made, modified, repaired easily. The choice of composite materials and the proposed design address six challenges. Mass reduction, removal of corrosion phenomena and electrolytic couples, dampening of vibrations, modular approach, competitive global cost, embedded sensors, MRO monitoring. The main advantages of this mechanism are allow SMEs to build EU partnerships, favour the combination of technological companies and maritime sectors, and a mechanism easy to implement for SMEs, notably the not experienced one. The role of clusters is key in the implementation of such mechanism, as they are close to the ecosystem and have a strong capacity of mobilization of SMEs. The combination between technology and maritime clusters bring new solutions to maritime challenges. It raises interest for newcomers eager to learn more about blue economy perspectives and identify if their technologies can address maritime challenges. 
In the WestNet context, this dispositive is replicable, notably thanks to the Maritime Cluster Alliance that has been built since last few past years. Projects with comparable approach, offering direct financial support to SMEs for a greater impact, are already launched. Galatea experience remains available for any other organization willing to implement such mechanisms.